is like you know uh, lots of red tape and lots of you know rules and regulations uh -huh. but uh, after I've been uh, participating in, in, in this project and mm. I'm saying oh there, there's a big changes we have lots of you know steps you know mm. uh, in doing business and lots of rules and regulations mm. so uh, at the moment you know all of the uh, government agencies mm. you know, they 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 has review mm. review uh, the, the the laws and, and you know the acts and the, and all the steps you know mm. uh, regarding the doing business mm. actually we have everything ready the problem is that people don't come in and use it like for example uh, the the e-registration uh, I, I have seen that uh, system and I've, I've been, you know, uh, using it and it's very, very convenient. Swadika, welcome to Thailand Today program. I'm Kusuma Yotasmut. Last time, we discussed about the influence of World Bank's ease of doing business index on Thailand's economy. Today, our program will focus on how our country, particularly the public sector, can improve and facilitate business doing in Thailand to maintain Thailand's attractiveness to foreign investors. Our guest uh, is Ms. Ned Priya Chumchayo, Public Relations Advisor for Public Sector's Efficiency Upgrading Project, Office of the Public Sector Development Commission, or OPDC, will tell us about the public sector's efficiency upgrading project to develop the quality and effectiveness of their services for improvement of doing business in Thailand. Please join me to welcome Ms. Ned Priya Jumchayo. She is a public relations advisor for a public sector's efficiency upgrading project. Sadika. Sadika. Well, welcome to Thailand to the program. Uh, well, the last time we did discuss about the influence of the World Bank's ease of doing business index on Thailand's economy. We are here having you, a beautiful lady. <laughs> doing the public relations. So tell us about uh, how public relations uh, could support uh, public sector efficiency development. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to tell you that um, b before I have joined this uh, project mm -hmm. um, as, as a business you know, operator, mm -hmm. actually, I don't know anything about what the government has been doing you know, so far. Mm -hmm. And I used to have um, like, you know, I used to think that you know doing business in Thailand is like you know uh, lots of red tape, mm. lots of you know rules and regulations. Uh -huh. But uh, after I've been uh, participating in in, in these projects, and mm. I'm saying, oh, there there's a big changes. Let me give you some example. Like for example, mm -hmm. um, like I remember when I started up my business like mm -hmm. many years ago, uh, it, it took us Bureaucracy. like you know a month or two or something like that and and I don't want to go through all you know those mm. uh, troubles so I hired the, the law firm to do it uh, uh, mm -hmm. but you know recently one of my friends just opened up a new business and you know he just registered online and everything just you know, complete within uh, like a day and a half uh, uh, I was kind of surprised that uh, wow uh, the Thai government has been you know doing lots of things you know nowadays yeah, yeah so we, we feel that we're so, so, so fortunate uh, to, to have uh, this government trying to so on. and many things have changed like you said yeah. uh, we could see some people some revealing out from the you know the business which is the, the bad side of uh, behaving uh -huh. doing business and all that so how important of your service quality in the public sector in the, to improve uh, for the improvement of doing business in Thailand mm -hmm. is it for the sake of the audience in foreign countries yes because at the moment uh, we're not only like uh, doing business like in in our own country and mm. we have lots of uh, foreign investors uh, coming into mm. our country mm. you know they, they're helping us you know boosting mm. up our economy mm. and so uh, the service uh, the government services has mm. been I mean mm. they have to improve mm. themselves mm. or else uh, Thai businessmen mm. and also the mm. uh, uh, foreign uh, investors will move out of the country. Mm. Mm -hmm. as, as we can see, like you know, from uh, since many years ago, since uh, we uh, were starting uh, to enter like the AEC, mm. lots of Thai businessmen has moving you know their business you know to a neighboring country mm. because they said, oh, well, 
uh, despite the cheap labor, mm. they say, oh, the rules and regulation is a lot easier than doing business here in Thailand. Mm. But now things mm. have changed. Mm. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah. we are very happy to see that uh, more of the uh, foreign investor has come into Thailand mm. because they, they start to realize that uh, you know, everything is getting easier. Mm. If I want to open a business and uh, 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 so I need to, to, to know the whole thing. So I, I, do I have to approach you? For the public relation of the of the uh, this one of the o, of the OPE, OPE, OPDC, OPDC yes. <laughs> so how, how to, to tell us everything or what? Yeah, but at the moment uh, we, we're trying, you know, to uh, use uh, lots of uh, publicity. Ah. Uh, like for example, are uh, we having um, what we call the infographic? Okay. Uh -huh. ah. So that you know we can send it through, you know, social ah. medias, ah. you know, and easy to understand. Yeah, okay. And we also have a press release. We organize uh, lots of a uh, press conference, ah. mm -hmm. ah. and uh, we also participate in you know lots of uh, TV and radio programs, mm -hmm. which is to inform the public so what the mm. government has been doing so far. Mm -hmm. You see how to. But because, because you are dealing with the public relations, that kind of thing. So, so your area, so what areas of service quality in the public sector mm -hmm. to what you got that we need to improve or upgrade and doing business in, in our country? Actually, uh, lots of area, you know, should be improved. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, uh, we have lots of, you know, steps, you know, mm. uh, in doing business and lots of rules and regulations. Mm. So uh, at the moment, you know, all of the uh, government agencies, mm -hmm. you know, they, 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 they has review, mm -hmm. review uh, the, the, the laws and, and, you know, the acts and, the, and all the steps, you know, mm -hmm. uh, regarding the doing business. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, you know, we have found that there are lots of, you know, obsolete, you know, laws and regulations uh, some regulations has been you know going on like for like many years but you know uh, at the moment things have changed let me give you some example uh, mm -hmm. for example by doing um, trading you know across the border mm -hmm. you know what we yeah. have about like a, a thousand and five hundred laws regarding uh, trading across the border uh, comparing to our, our neighboring country like uh, Singapore and Malaysia they only have like about like 300 you know laws that also lots of for them already. Yeah, yeah so it's like a big difference uh, and so at the moment uh, the, the government has, has been uh, set up a committee mm -hmm. uh, to review all of the uh, rules and regulations you mm -hmm. know and and try to uh, get out of the obsolete one mm. but uh, we did do we need something which is uh, what you call permanently change. Yes. Or like, uh, you know, sometimes they, if you like, like tide, they're up and down at the time of the people doing business. So yes. that kind of thing, the foreign people and foreign business, so much afraid of. Yes. Not only them, Thai people know so. Uh -huh. So it's high time for them yeah. to change in everything. Uh -huh. So this is yeah. why we have to, you know, like, uh, yeah. you know, try to improve everything. Because uh, if, it, if we look uh, at Thailand, mm. you know, from the mm. uh, uh, foreign investors' perspective, mm. I believe that they feel the same as, you know, when I first yeah. started my own business. Uh, yeah. uh, they will feel like, oh gosh, uh, lots of rules and regulations, and we are foreigners, and we don't understand and everything and so they have to you know hire the the, the international law firms to mm. do that is there any any place in particular like just take us go there and they know for sure that uh, okay first step thing the second da, 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 to, to set up into a company yes is there any because at the moment that the government has uh, what we call uh, the the uh, BIS portal so uh, if anyone, you know, Thai people or foreigners, just go into the business portal, mm. uh, they will know everything about how to do business in Thailand. Mm. And uh, once they get all the information and they're ready to set up a business here in Thailand, mm. uh, Ministry of Commerce, uh, the Department of Business uh, Development, mm. uh, has uh, recently launched mm. uh, what they call the e-registration. E-registration. Yeah, uh -huh. it, it's the, the online system where uh, you know, where people can register in within like one day. Mm. Book permit one day? Yeah. Oh, work permit, it could be a, a little bit more than that, but you know, it's easier. It's, mm -hmm. it's easier and it's faster, and they have been reducing lots of mm -hmm. the steps. In your work, because you are dealing with the public, an advisor of the public sector also, so do you find any difficulty to, to, to explain to the foreign people? One of the difficulties is that uh, at the moment, uh, 
business community has been mm -hmm. uh, receiving information, you know, from the government mm -hmm. via different uh, media. Mm -hmm. uh, in the old days, you know, they're watching mm -hmm. TVs and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, ra listen to the radio. But now they, they use social medias and, and they're using, you know, uh, lines and YouTubes and everything. So it is, it is quite a big challenge, you know, how mm -hmm. can we get, you know, the information uh, directly to our uh, target groups. Mm -hmm. Any kind of suggestion uh, for any business that foreign people should do here in Thailand? Mm -hmm. So at the moment, uh, we're, we're trying, trying to, to focusing on, on our website uh, and uh, trying to make it easy, you know, for the uh, user and everyone can come and get, you know, the, the easy access and, uh, you know, uh, lots of uh, good information that they can use it right away. Uh, that means that they open up at um, uh, this uh, OPDC public relations? Yes. And then you can see the whole thing though, yes. of... of of doing business in Thailand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what activities or, or measure do uh, the public sector are uh, implementing uh, to what you call to develop the quality or uh, effectiveness of these uh, services? Mm -hmm. okay. At the moment, uh, every uh, uh, government or, uh, mm -hmm. agencies uh, mm -hmm. they they're trying to uh, review, you know, whatever they've been doing and make sure that things has to be easier, mm. uh, easier, you know, mm. for, for the investors and the mm. public uh, owners. And it has to be cheaper, it has to be cheaper. Okay. And all of the red tape process has to be faster and all the quality has to be better. This is the message that uh, Ms. Ned Priya is sending to you, to our audience in 177 countries worldwide, that Thailand could be doing business with easiness, with what? lesser timing and all that so please come walk in yeah but but still yeah. we, we still uh, encounter some of you know uh you know problems because most of thai people they're mm. familiar with the old you know uh, ways of doing things <laughs> uh, like for example um even though we're trying to tell them that hey you can do everything online at the moment but uh, still people would love to come you know to the offices because uh, they're familiar with the officers and they want they want to ask lots of lots of questions and uh, they want to meet people you know, uh, in, in person. Uh, so that, that is table. a little bit of the, uh, you know, challenges, you know, for uh, us. Uh, well, they're gone by because the other day we invite some people here to talk about the, uh, the ticket, e t e everything, e-card or something. So we need not to go by pay money and, and all, yes. you know, to use the card. So gradually, the time <laughs> will be doing the change. Uh -huh. so, another, another problem is okay. that uh, the government uh, officer themselves, mm. you know, the, the, the people who, who's giving out service, the mm. service provider, mm. uh, sometimes they're still uh, familiar with the old, you know, like uh, uh, copies, lots of copies, lots of paper. And uh, once uh, we say that, hey, everything we can do is online and there's no need to ask, you know, for the copies of the mm. uh, certificates or, you know, uh, mm. documents, some officers are still, you know, are not aware of it. And mm -hmm. so they, they're doing the same thing. They're asking, mm -hmm. you know, for copies, you know, mm -hmm. from, from the people who yeah, contact us. Yeah, not only one copy. Sometimes they ask for triple. Yeah. <laughs> Copies of uh, wedding marriage certificates, you yeah. know, to deal with your yeah. business. Or so. They still need why, that. Why do we need that? <laughs> yeah. Nothing to do with that. Yeah, very interesting. So what expect the next Thai public sector development plan mm -hmm. to focus on? So at the moment we're trying, you know, to uh, to trying to uh, send out messages, you know, mm. via uh, lots of channels and mm. make sure that we we uh, send it to the right channel to mm. the right uh, target groups. Mm. Mm -hmm. The ASEAN people, ASEAN, ASEAN friends around mm -hmm. us, like we you were mentioning about uh, Malaysia, Singapore, we live alone because they are. Yeah well off already. <laughs> what about the rest, like blah, Vietnam and all this? Uh -huh. do, do they have uh, any opportunity to meet with them or how to co cooperate with them with some work or something uh -huh. that they'd like to do with in Thailand? Yeah, in terms of international communities, uh, we have a very, very uh, efficient channel. Mm. Uh, we're sending out information and messages uh, through our embassies around the world. Mm. And also uh, we have the uh, commercial attache offices around the world. Ooh, and, yes. and actually they, they're doing you know their job is just like a salesman you know to mm -hmm. our country mm -hmm. and so uh, they they meet lots of business people you know mm -hmm. in, in in the international community and so they are very very good you know publicity mm -hmm. you know for us mm -hmm. I though I asked from the from the the last uh, OPDC guide who, who was here last time but uh, I also would love to ask you that uh, is there any anything that Thailand to be changed to be done to be still lack behind 
One of the things that we lag behind, well, we have to admit that, you know, um, the, the, the access, you know, to the government uh, mm. information is mm. still quite low, but we've been doing it, you know, mm. we've been doing it. And, mm. and we believe that, mm. like, within uh, a couple of years, you know, uh, we expect that more people will, mm. you know, uh, have a very good access, you know, to, to the information. Mm. Actually, we have everything ready. The problem is that people don't come in and use it. Like, for example, uh, the, the e-registration. Uh, mm. I, I have seen that uh, mm. system and I've, I've been, you know, uh, using it and it's very very convenient but yeah. the problem is that people don't use it well may, maybe uh, the small business owner they they they're, they're not familiar with the the online system mm -hmm. why don't you arrange one day is there any plan to arrange a, what do you call a, a day of a, a day to know uh, this uh, this uh, development thing yeah. of doing business uh -huh. yeah, yeah we, we, so we, 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 we can do that and uh, recently we have just uh, uh, have a workshop uh, mm. with the what do you call like uh, uh, the, the, the the commerce people you know in in, in every provinces mm. uh, we teach them you know how to uh, help a business owner in in in, in, in a country mm. you know where to do it and how to utilize you know this system very interesting very interesting. Well, I feel good because uh, if doing business, business is a, is the backbone of the country. Yes. So uh, if any country have a, such a clear cut of things to do it and people flooding in, that's mm -hmm. marvelous. <laughs> well, so um, any activity uh, focusing on the when we international recognition, mm -hmm. we need uh, any activity that you're trying to load them or to just to have yeah. Them? to improve it well without limited budgeting <laughs> on on uh, doing a publicity overseas mm -hmm. uh, we're trying you know as, as as hard as we can that I have, I've mentioned uh, earlier that you know uh, we're using our uh, ambassador uh, and also the commercial attaché you know uh, to help us doing uh, that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well the public uh, sector efficiency upgrading project uh, would be really beneficial to private sector mm -hmm. and the people. So mm -hmm. do, do you see how it's going to be like that? Um, for the business people, uh, what we're doing is that uh, we're trying to uh, uh, you know, educate uh, the Thai government officers, mm. uh, make sure that they understand like the new system mm. and how to uh, mm. help, uh, mm. you know, foreigners who want to invest or open up a business here in Thailand. Mm. Uh, we also uh, try to uh, educate and send out information to uh, the law firm, accounting firm, you know, who, who will help uh, the investors to know what, what needs to be done. Mm. You yourself as a business person, so you have faced, you, like you live, you have left you have lived in two worlds, actually, the old and the new. Yes. So how do you feel about it? Well, I'm kind of, you know, happy that I've, I, I, I myself have seen uh, lots of big changes, you know, mm. during uh, the recent mm. years mm. that the government has has mm. has changed, you know, completely changed from uh, from the regulator. Mm. At the moment, they they are like a facilitator. Very they good. they have, they really cooperate, you know, with the, the private sectors, mm. and they've done a good job. Mm, you mean this government? Yes. Um, mm. Especially cabinet, you know, when they are here, many of them were here and uh, they have shown off uh, interest to really support and business in and out of the country. Yeah. Mm, so this is a good sign for the people to, to do business uh, in Thailand. So the uh, World Bank is, what do you call it? World Bank's is doing business uh, index. Ease of business. Business. Uh, 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 so, so I think well, say, say something on that, <laughs> well, uh, well, last year, you know, mm. we ranked uh, 46. Mm. Oh. But it, mm. it's getting a little bit better, better yeah? because yeah. like three years ago, we ranked like uh, 49. Uh -huh. But uh, many, many years ago, we used to rank 20, 20th. And Which so, so that, that is why we have, you know, to review ourselves. Hey, what is oh. going on? You know, we used to rank like, you know, top 20s oh. and now we, we rank, oh. you know, top 50s. Oh. So um, I believe that this year, if we're doing a more publicity, mm. uh, our ranking will, you know, will increase. Mm. Let's cross our finger and uh -huh. uh, under your people's hands, trying to boost up everything, yes. we are on your side. <laughs> so please continue with your great job and uh, come back and tell us more. Thank you. <laughs> We're in our program, I thank you so much to Ms. Nepriya Chumchayo. She's a public relations advisor for a public sector's efficiency upgrading project. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you.
มิสเนตปริยาชุมชายโย Public Relations Advisor for a Public Sectors Efficiency Upgrading Project Office of the Public Sector Development Commission Thank you so much for joining our program today Now our audience can expect continuous public sector development in terms of improvement of service quality in government agencies This is not only an effective mechanism for national development, but also a great drive to support the ease of doing business in Thailand. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusumayo Thasmo. Talk to you again next time. Sadiqah.